Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Erin. Today I'm doing a combined video for my July haul and my August TBR. So my TBR is pretty short. I'm going to end with that. We'll be starting off with my haul, which is a little bit longer. This haul is also pretty romance heavy, if we're being honest. I've been listening to a lot of Faded Maids, which is a romance podcast in the past two months while I've been traveling a lot for work and it got me really in the mood for a lot of historical romance and also gave me a couple recommendations that I am picked up, ended up picking up. And so the first category I have for my haul is a used bookstore haul I did. I got the call from work that I was being pulled off of this traveling assignment back home to the home office sooner than I anticipated. So I was really excited to stop traveling. So I went on a little bit of a celebratory book buying trip to this really cute local used bookstore it's in the city I had been traveling to. And I got four books there. First up, I got the Ambassador's Mission by Trudy Canavan. This is an adult fantasy and it is a sequel series to Trudy Canavan's Black Magician trilogy, which is a series I really quite enjoy. And I've been meaning to pick up the sequel series and I think I'm gonna reread the first series too before hitting this one. So this follows one of the main characters from this main series just years later and also follows her child. And in this one, there is a rogue magician that they're hunting down because the rogue magician is killing thieves. And also I believe there's some kind of other storyline with the child of the main character who is like in danger with whatever they're doing in this book, something like that. But definitely excited to finally have a copy of this. Next I got Devil in Winter by Lisa Kleypas. And so I picked this one up specifically because I've kind of heard that most Lisa Kleypas fans favorite male character is one of two and it's either Derek Craven who is the protagonist in Dreaming of You which I read or the protagonist of this book so when they had this one in stock of the used books I was like well seems like a good second book to pick up because then I'll just start with the two books that have the heroes that everyone loves so this one is about Evangeline who is a wallflower and is set to have a big inheritance and in order to get out of her family's I guess thumb she proposes marriage to this rakish character and he accepts but her conditions is after the marriage there'll be no love making because she does not want to be another in a long line of his broken hearts and so then they fall in love and I'm excited to pick this one up next I got a Scott in the Dark by Sarah McLean. I picked this up because Sarah McLean is one of the hosts of Faded Mate and I've been interesting, interested in picking up one of her books for a while now because I have not read one of her books. And so this one looked the most interesting of the couple that the bookstore had so I decided to start with this one. It follows a duke who has recently inherited this dukedom in England. He is a Scotsman and he's inherited an English dukedom and the dukedom comes with a ward who needs marrying off and this ward had recently had some kind of scandal where she posed for a scandalous portrait and it got out to the public this portrait got shown publicly and so she turns to the duke who's the only one who can help her kind of get out of this mess and so while he's trying to marry her off and kind of fix it he ends up starting to fall in love with her and then the last one in this used bookstore haul is just like heaven by julia quinn this is the first book in the smythe smith quartet series which the smythe smiths are a family that we see as kind of a background character in the Bridgerton series and so I decided since I just finished Bridgerton doing a sort of related series would be good jumping off point so this is a older brother's best friend trope story between one of the Smythe Smiths and then the older brother's best friend all right next up I did get two new books this month the first is The Devil and the Heiress by Harper St. George this is the second book in the Gilded Heiresses series which is a adult historical romance and I loved book one the Eris gets a Duke, which I read earlier this year, and so I was very excited when book two came out, which follows one of the sisters in the Eris the family, and this follows the sister who is running away because she does not want to enter into the marriage her parents have arranged. She wants to become a novelist, and as she's running away, she bumps into the Earl of Lee, who decide, has decided he loves her and wants to convince her to marry him, so she he agrees to help her run away under the guise of just being helpful, but actually he's hoping to use this time together to get her to fall for him and marry him. And then the other new book I got is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I love Red, White, and World Blue when I read it last year, so I was very excited to pick up her new one. This is a sort of retelling slash inspired by the movie Kate and Leopold, where you have the modern character and then the other character was pulled from the past and kind of dropped in modern day New York. Although this one, the character from the past is only from the 70s, whereas in Kate and Leopold, I believe they're like 200 years old. And in this book, they're both women, as this is a sapphic romance, and in Kate and Leopold, it's a guy and a girl. But so in this one, it's it's uh, our main character in modern New York who keeps seeing this stranger on the train who looks kind of retro because she's from the 70s and their story of, I guess, falling in love, maybe figuring out why she keeps getting, she got dropped in New York. I don't know if they addressed that or not. 
but it sounds good. It sounds like romance with kind of a dash of fantastical element. So I'm excited for it. Next, next I got one book that I won in a Goodreads giveaway, and that is The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. This is a, I think this is a standalone fantasy um, that is inspired by Hungarian and Jewish mythology and folklore, which sounds really interesting. It sounds like the same kind of vibe of book as like Spinning Silver or the Winter Night Trilogy, which are both books I really like. And so in this one, we have um, the main character who is a lives in a pagan village, and she ends up being taken by like this group of, of woodsmen. And at some point, it, her and one woodsman are like the only ones left alive after some encounter in the woods. And they end up having to like band together to stop the evil prince from whatever the evil prince is trying to do and I think it sounds good. I haven't heard many people who've read this yet um, so I don't know if it's being well received or not but I think it sounds good and I'm excited for it. Next I have five ebooks that I picked up this month. There was like one week where it felt like every day when I got my like daily ebook deals email like every day there was a book that was on my TBR and my rule for the daily ebook deals is if it's on my TBR already I can get it but if it's not already on my TBR we aren't getting it so this one really hit my TBR hard this month or this week and so first we have Anchored Hearts by Priscilla Oliveris this is a contemporary romance and it's a second chance romance where set in Key West where our male character had left and he has not come back to the island to face the girl he left behind pretty much and then next I got Tycoon by Joanna Shoup which is a novella it's a historical novella that's a road trip trope except on a train and it's this damsel in distress who runs into this guy kind of I guess at the train depot or whatever and he agrees to let her chill in his private cabin on the train on their journey and them getting to know each other on this train ride train ride <laughs> and then we have wild rain by Beverly Jenkins this is historical but it's set in American the American Wild West after after the Civil War which is certainly not a historical romance setting I have read and it follows a reporter who has come to Wyoming to write a story and he meets the main female character who owns her own ranch and like doesn't wear skirts and wears pants instead kind of thing and he's very intrigued by her. And then I have A Duchess A Day by Karis Michaels. This is about a girl who has been running from this marriage. She's been trying to get out of it. She's literally run away and it's a bodyguard romance between her and the guy who has been hired to kind of babysit her so she doesn't run away again and while she's trying to find a replacement bride for this duke she doesn't want to marry. And then lastly I have Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall. This is a sort of a new series by Alexis Hall about Rosalind Palmer who is a single mom baker who ends up on this baking competition show and the summary mentions two different guys and so I think this one might end up being kind of a love triangle which I haven't read a ton of love triangles recently it's been a while since I read a lot of books with them so I'm interested to see if it will go well because the one book I can think of that I read this year one romance book that I can think that I read this year with a romance tri with a love triangle didn't did not pull off the love triangle well so we'll see if this is a romance book that can pull off the love triangle and so that's my book haul for July, quite a bit bigger than it has been. And then for my TBR, I only have three books in my TBR for August. First is a book club book, which is Rebel by Marie Lu. This is for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club for the month. And this is the fourth book in the Legend trilogy or series by Marie Lu. This book takes place 10 years after the first three. I read the first three when they came out while I was in high school and I loved them. I have not read them since then. And I <laughs> am interested to see what I think of Rebel, this the sequel as it follows one of the siblings of the original trilogy. We'll see if I like this one as much as I remember liking the first ones. And then I have two arcs that I want to read in August because they, both of these books come out in September so I've been trying to read the few arcs I've gotten in the month before the release date. And so first is Among Thieves by MJ Kuhn. This is a fantasy, I think it's a standalone, and it is a heist fantasy. And that's all I really remember about what it's about, but I love heist stories, so very excited for this one. And then the second arc is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klum. I just recently read The House in the Cerulean Sea and loved it, so I saw this one Neck Alley and requested it and was shocked that I got approved for it, but very excited. And so this one follows a main character who has died, and instead of being, ta being taken to the afterworld by the Reaper, he is taken to this like city in the woods and he goes to this tea shop where he meets the tea shop owner and and he has like a certain amount of time before he has to cross over and so he I guess kind of finds figures out how to 
live his life or like live a white life worth of memories in that last week before he has to cross over and it sounds like it'll be heart-wrenching and charming all at the same time so I'm excited for it so if you have read or want to read any of these books let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video